hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to learn how to create a curved carousel using figma my aim still remains to teach you different design concepts the right design principle and the best industry standard tools to help you unlock your creative potential to its highest and also permits me to be part of your journey as you grow to be the best in the design industry Let's get started. Open our Figma, you create or open an already existing Figma file. <laughs> so guys, in this case, we create a new design file. Click once and you know, it creates a blank Figma file for you and we'll name it, uh, call it Cob or Parasol, right? So we have that. So we'll create a new frame, right? Create a new frame, desktop frame. I would like to set my prototype settings to um, Surface Pro 8, right? I'm going to name this to, let's say, I just call it Cove, right? And play my prototype. I'm going to have like this tablet feel, right? When I have that, yo, you're ready to unleash. Are you ready? Stay with me, guys. Now guys, I would like to go get my images. I'm um, getting our images from unsplash.com. So we're just gonna like copy and paste. So normally you should download so as to get higher resolution, right? But also note that when your images are too large, it slows, it makes your design file load slowly, right? It renders slowly, right? So take note of that, right? And when that happens and you want to reduce the resolution, you have a plugin, image compressor that can help you do that. Normally I would use Photoshop and export for web, you know, like, like configure it and stuff, right? But there's the plugin on Figma. Sometime in the future I would explore that. Right, so just come here and copy um, images that work. We like and just paste here. All right. I'm just going to like highlight all of this and make it small. Reduce the size right about this and like align the size. So, what I would do here is that I'm going to uncheck my constraint proportion so I can give the width and the height independent sizes without having them affect themselves, right? So, yeah, I'm going to say, uh, let's say 500 for example, right? And say height 500. No, it could do a thousand, right? Something like this, or let's say 700, right? I can now check my constraint and like control my size, right? Knowing that they're all equal sizes, all the images, right? So you just align them well and also and equally increase the size, right? Just I'll just group them for now. I'll group them and I'll tell you why. Okay, so yeah, we'll keep them outside. So now we want to draw our shape. Right, so we'll pick a rectangle tool, so it's called arrow, you click here and you just drag, right? So now remember we're doing a curved carousel. It means that this shape has to be curved. How do we achieve that? We click on edit object click on edit object right so now you can edit um, you can move like different the nodes on your rectangle right but the goal is to make it curved right so this is our curve tool here our bend tool right you can just click on it and you know drag if you are not clicked on that the shortcut is to hold your control or your command key and your icon will change to something like this you see Right, so you can have something like this and just bend it up, come here, put it and like bend it down, right? And like a height, the overall height is too much. So how you exit from modes like this, you just either click done or you hit your escape, right? Whatever works. So you know you reduce the size and let's make it more curved so it can be the effect can be re can can be really obvious, right? So yeah. And so, reduce the size that we had again. So, like, it's kind of like sand, 
um, looks about it so we can increase the length the width sorry to this it's like extreme to the edge right so we have that now see how it looks on our preview right so we're getting there now you see this all these images uh, I normally would like ungroup them and bring them here make sure they are on the top of the rectangle tool and they are inside your frame so you just drag the image into the frame right so highlighting them I will hold my um, shift key and also highlight this two alongside and I will right click and say use max right you see what happened now I can access my max by just highlighting the images I can access my my max right you see everything now really is maxed to that shape so I can reduce the size I can increase the size however I want it right I can say maybe increase the length right I could right I can I so what, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make this auto layout right so it can have equal space and I can control the spacing how I want right okay I'm just going to center this like make it center this page right okay so now we have this it's loaded so we have this now and the aim is to make it move like on drag move right so what we're going to do afterwards is it's simple right you click on the frame to create the auto layout we created right which is we can like still serve as a frame but of course it's been a being an auto layout has has its own advantage right which is like the spacing and you know so many other crazy stuff padding and right we're not going into that state right so when that when you click on the on the frame you go to your prototype setting overflow scrolling you click on it and you say horizontal scrolling so when you do that you just drag this to this point and you drag this to this point right it's as simple as that your work is done you see we have this see drag this is so beautiful right this is so so beautiful this is so so beautiful you can you can have other cool stuff like uh you could add um what's the word uh kind of like you can have a rectangle that is absolute in positioning like somewhere around here make it let's say make it black completely right then reduce the opacity and maybe had an effect and make it make it background blur increase the blur intensity something like this right so we could say this could be like linear and we could do from horizontal linear horizontal linear so it's accurate right like shouldn't like go with this stuff fixed so on scroll it's just there like anything that got get past it it's blur right so I can duplicate something similar and inverse it to in this point so you can like have this focus on the middle right I'm just exploring you so you can try yours out make it whatever you want and you just have fun that's it like subscribe comment if you like this video yo see you next time